guys welcome back to my channel happy sunday so i just got back from the gym not that long ago and when i was at the gym i had like an uncomfortable experience so it just gave me an idea to come on here and do a my top pet peeves at the gym so basically things that people around me are doing at the gym that kind of bothers me or even things that like my husband does sometimes when we're at the gym that bothers me so i don't want to come on here and sound like negative Nancy, but there's just a couple little things that bother me when I'm at the gym. And like I said, I just got back from the gym. So as you can see, I'm not really wearing a whole, whole lot of makeup. I'm also not saying that I'm not wearing any makeup. I am, I'm wearing a little bit of concealer and then I did put some mascara on. My top pet peeve at the gym is when people don't clean their equipment. So I'm pretty sure like every gym has a spray bottle. They have some sort of like paper towel or like a towel something that you can clean down the equipment when you're done using it it annoys me so much when people don't take the time to clean their equipment so like i'm always cleaning my equipment my husband sometimes slacks so i'm like are you not gonna clean that he's like oh yeah so like little things like that and another thing with the whole cleaning the equipment is just like make sure you're spraying that spray onto the um paper towel because like example my husband he'll give it like one spray and then he's like okay i'm like no i don't want to be using some sort of equipment that someone cleaned it like that like i want it i mean i know they're not always going to be perfectly clean or whatever but like at least try wiping everything down so the next person that comes and uses that machine that you were using is is it's not all sweaty and dirty number two is personal space so when i'm at the gym i put my earphones on i don't make any eye contact with anyone i'm literally there to work out um especially like when i go by myself sometimes i don't want anyone coming up to talk to me so i'm kind of just like in my zone i that's why i make no eye contact with anyone because i don't want anyone talking to me i'm there to work out and that's all i want so when I'm working out, I usually try to find a little place, a little spot in the spot in the gym. So like if I'm doing some like leg stuff, but I'm not necessarily using a machine, I'll try to go to like the ab area and find a little spot. Like I prefer going to the corner because then I don't have anyone on the right or on the left. And if I do have someone else, it's only going to be one side, but not, I'm not going to be in the middle in between two people. So like I've had it and it's not, I'm not just saying it's men, it's women too, girls, whatever. So like I'll be at the gym working out and then there's a whole bunch of space over there. And then for some reason, they're so close to me. I don't know. I just don't like being too close to someone when there's obviously so much more room over there. I've always had a problem with that. And like I said, it's not just men that do it. It's women too. So like when I'm like, let's say I'm working out on my abs, I'm like over here, someone will come up and just be right next to me. And there's like a whole bunch of other space around the gym that just annoys me. And like, I could see like, if it's like, oh, she seems friendly, she seems nice. I kind of want to get to t like, I want to know her. Like I want to talk to her, like if a girl were like that, but like, no, like they, it's not like they're trying to smile at me. They're trying to talk to me or anything. It's just like, they're just that close to me and for some reason it just I just can't I don't like being too close to someone like that so just make sure you're respecting people's um personal space like I understand when the gym is really full sometimes it's hard to find like a spot not close to people but like if there's more room just go work out over there don't be too close to someone so today when I was working out I was doing um leg stuff so i was working out on my legs and i was doing this exercise i'm gonna try to see if i can post a little video of the exercise i was doing um but like i was doing this exercise and you're basically squat down and you're basically squatting and you're moving um you're walking left and right while you're squatting so i don't know if i go to planet fitness so planet fitness um when you're like in the abs section sometimes they have like these walls um that kind of divides the room but it's not a full wall it's like half a wall so basically you could lean over 
and kind of like rest on that wall and then someone would be working out right here so i'm working out over here the wall's right here so i'm like squatting down and then the old man's on this side and like i said he's been basically this is how he was or he was like i don't remember if it was like this but basically he was like leaning over it so i felt him and i'm just kind of like i i stopped doing what i'm doing and i just kind of get up and then i'm like okay this is uncomfortable so i grab my phone and you know kind of just pretending like I'm doing something, um, trying to see when he leaves. I'm over, So there's some girls on the other side. I'm kind of just looking at them and I'm like, am I the only one that thinks this is weird? Um, so I'm just like waiting there and then he finally leaves about after three minutes. And yeah, three minutes might not seem like a long time, but when you are feeling uncomfortable, that is a long time. So then I'm just like, what the, <sighs> like, it's so annoying. Anyways, just respect people's personal space. Um, be mindful of the people around you. My third one is re-racking your weight. So a lot of times... I understand. Oh my gosh. My watch just literally talked to me and I got so scared. Okay, so number three is re-racking your weights. Um, so a lot of times um, I want to use a Smith machine and there are weights loaded onto the barbell. And, but there's no one around. And it's like, is someone using it? Did someone not re-rack their weights? So like, I don't know if they just took a minute to step out and go to the bathroom. I don't know if they took a minute to step out and go refill their water bottle. So then you're like, you don't want to go and use that Smith machine because you don't want to go use it and then have someone walk up to you and be like, oh, hey, I'm not done with it. I'm still using it. Like, that's awkward. But then again, you don't want to not go and use it because you think someone's using it and maybe someone's not even using it. So it's just kind of like really weird, like I'd rather just not even go or like I just kind of wait there and see if someone goes after a couple of minutes and I'm just like wasting time. So make sure we are re-racking your weight. Same thing goes for like if, if you're like in the abs section and you have a mat pulled out, you have some weights. If you're done with it, go put your mat away. Go put your um, weights away so someone else can use that space, especially when it, when the gym is really busy. And there's like no room and someone is just basically waiting for someone to be done so they can go ahead and do their thing. Like it's so annoying when things are just on the floor everywhere and people don't pick up after themselves. If I think it's annoying, I don't even want to think what the people at the gym that work there, um, how they feel about it. It's not that hard to just, you know, grab a mat, grab some weights, you're using it, you're done, wipe the mat down, put the weights away. Like, it's not that hard, guys. Like, it just annoys me. Like, we just need to do a better way of cleaning up after ourselves, especially with the whole, like, virus going around. Like, just cleaning up after ourselves, making sure we are wiping down all the equipment. Like, it's better for us. It's better for the people at the gym. It, it's just better for everyone. Okay, so I went on Facebook and I posted um, what are some of your pet peeves at the gym and I had a ton of comments, people just commenting on what they found annoying. So I just figured I'd share with you guys some of the ones that I kind of saw people on um, talk about the most. So one, obviously, um, one of the top ones was people trying to talk to you, um, which I feel like most of the time is men trying to talk to women. Um, so I don't... I don't think I've ever, no, I don't, I've never had this happen to me. Um, usually, like, I go to the gym sometimes by myself. Sometimes I go with my husband. Even though we don't work out together, we kind of still, um, those people will see us together. Um, but besides that, um, I usually just put my earphones on and I'm literally just working out. But, like, I used to go by myself before we were married and lived together. I used to go to the gym by myself all the time. I made sure to not make eye contact with anyone i was literally just like working out i didn't want to like invite someone to come talk to me or anything um but that is one of the ones i saw a lot where um someone is trying to work out and then there's like men trying to hit on girls um which i do think it's probably annoying especially if that girl is not attractive to that man um, another one that people were talking about and I've actually experienced it myself is um, 
having people work out around you when they're on their phones. Um, so one time I was working out, I think I was on the Stairmaster and then so the Stairmaster is over here and then there's you have the whole like treadmills over here. There was this lady that she was walking and she was on her phone. She wasn't just talking on the phone. She was FaceTiming a friend and she was like having this loud conversation. So usually what I just do like I'm already listening to music anyway so like just I can block her out. But like I know like a lot of times when you're working out with someone um and you're kind of like explaining to them what you guys are going to do or like what this exercise is good for and if someone's like having a really really loud conversation it can get annoying so I could totally see how some people find that annoying. I honestly find that annoying too even if I if I have my earphones on. Um another one is people being on their phones while they're working out. So I do this one but I don't do I know what the person that commented meant so like sometimes I'll let's say I'll finish a set and then I'll pull out my phone I'll be on it for a minute or something and then I go back to working out there are some people at the gym they're all on their phones and aren't even working out so like my husband is actually guilty of this I've seen him where I'm done with two sets and he's still taking a phone break and I'm like people are probably like so annoyed with you right now because probably someone might want to use this machine and you're on your phone so this one was a very very popular one i saw people talking about it consistently in the comments just saying that they get annoyed when they're trying to use the machine and someone's using it but they're just on their phone and it's not like i said a minute like they're not taking a break on their phone uh, from the set they're like on their phone it's not really working out Another one I saw that I've never experienced and I've actually read comments where Planet Fitness um, does this. Like I go to Planet Fitness but I've never really, I've never experienced this um, where they will get a comment about their sports bra or their crop top from an employee that works there saying like you're not allowed to wear these. Um, this sports bra that I'm wearing right now, this is what I was wearing at the gym. I've never gone told anything. But apparently a girl that commented, commented um, said that getting kicked out of the gym because you're one wearing a sports bra or two you're wearing a crop top. Which I think it's so stupid um, for someone to get kicked out of the gym because of that. Um, it's not like you're being revealing anyways, it's just a crop top or a sports bra. I mean, if you were naked or your boobs popping out, then yeah, like say something. But if that's not the case, then you shouldn't, no one should say anything to you. So I thought that one was crazy. I've, um, even though I have heard it before, but I think that's just dumb. Well, I had never heard it to the point where someone gets kicked out of the gym. I've heard it where they're like, oh, you're not allowed to wear these type of sports bras or you're not allowed to wear this type of clothing here. And then some of the last ones were um, hogging the machine. So I've seen where people are using two machines and they're like, it's basically like they're only using one, but then if someone walks up to the other one, they're like, oh, hey, I'm using this one. And the other person's like, oh, okay, whatever. Even though it doesn't seem like they're using it because they're using a completely different machine or they are, or they'll leave their stuff and then they go to the other side of the gym and they're using a whole different machine but once they see someone walking up to that machine they're like oh i'm using this or whatever and then like the last one is i'm so like let's say i'm at the cable machine and i just got done doing a set and then i'm just kind of taking a break just standing right by the machine but not so i'm standing by the machine but not right beside it and um, someone coming up to them and saying like oh hey are you done with this like they obviously see me right by the machine like no i'm not done with this like i don't know i feel like a lot of people will also say that because some people will be embarrassed and they'll be like oh yeah i'm done with it like i've seen this happen multiple times and it's like just wait until they're done wait until they actually they're actually cleaning it or walking away so like i've had people come up to me where i'm starting to put the weights back and then they'll see me kind of wiping it down and then they'll be like, oh, are you done? And I'm like, oh yeah, go ahead, like, go ahead and use it. Like, and I see why they're coming up because sometimes um, all those other Smith machines are being occupied and they want to go ahead and grab that machine before someone else comes and grabs it. So they're like, I'm just going to go ahead and ask her if she's done. But they basically already know I'm done because I'm already cleaning it. So that's fine. But what it's not fine is like when you're just kind of standing there taking a break or whatever and then someone decides to come up and be like oh hey are you done 
No, I'm not done. Well, anyways, um, guys, these were some of my pet peeves and then some of the comments I received um, where people told me what they found annoying at the gym. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. I post videos every Sunday. And then comment down below, let me know what are some of your pet peeves or if some of my pet peeves are just crazy and I'm just overreacting. Um, let me know what you guys think. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.